Jack JW here, and it's time to read some comments that come in from you folks that watch the channel and comment on all the videos. I can't get to everybody's comments, but uh, I figure I brush through a few and look at some and get a little my insight on some of the things. So um, we got some comments here on the close-up uh, uh, video on some of the uh, Smith & Wesson uh, double action revolvers. This comment came in from the Gunfighter 45 ACP, my favorite caliber. I love that caliber. <laughs> and it says, that's a nice collection on display that he is a sucker for pinned and recessed uh, models for the Smith & Wessons. Yes, I am too. Uh, I've always liked the pinned and recessed and I was very fortunate to get the Model 19 pinned and recessed, the four inch barrel there. But uh, he also says he will definitely uh, make some room for a non-pinned uh, and recessed Model 19 snubby. I've actually been having uh, one of those Model 19 Smiths uh, snubby on my watch list. I really am looking to get a hold of one of those, so maybe one day. <laughs> um, okay. Mr. Holster, and he says, nice collection of pinned barrels, JW. Thank you, Mr. Holster. <laughs> All right. Okay. And uh, this one is from Uvoltsvai. I'm sorry. I really, I, if I mispronounce anybody's name, it's, uh, I'm sorry about that. It says, the only, uh, only guns I regret selling are Smith & Wesson revolvers. Never let them go, but I don't have to tell you that. Um, yeah, I, although I have let uh, one or two go, I think, uh, in my time, and uh, I, I do regret it. I should not let them go. If you're a collector, don't sell your stuff because you're going you're gonna to really be sad later on. Um, this comment came in on the uh, Smith & Wesson video as well uh, from I Carry One, and so he says, <laughs> this is this is a good one. I run a non-profit shelter for the elderly Smith & Wesson and Colt revolvers. If you decide to retire those revolvers, they will always be welcome here. <laughs> um, okay. And uh, this is a neat one. Uh, this one came in from Prepping for Zombies. Uh, he made a uh, actually a video on his Ruger revolvers. And he says, just made a, a video of my Ruger revolvers. It's uploading. I gave you a shout out, brother. I love your channel and your knowledge and passion for guns and revolvers. I appreciate that. Thank you. I, uh, I do have a passion for uh, old school guns and revolvers. It's just kind of something that I think uh, it seems to get forgotten about sometimes and uh, I like to be there to kind of remind everybody just how cool they are and hey remember back in the day that's what they had well um, at work <laughs> it's uh, been overcast most of the day and not uh, was really busy earlier and of course it was uh, pretty much slow for the most part but then uh, of course when I'm uh, on important phone calls that's when uh, it uh, picks up in business of course isn't that always the case so um, yeah I had to run some errands this morning and got some other stuff done yeah and the week is on the way uh, tomorrow's Friday already and uh, what is it uh, coming up yeah um, New Year's Eve is Saturday and then there will be and it's uh, Sunday is New Year's Day I think or is it think so I think that's the way it goes <laughs> so yeah uh, either way good thing is because I'm off uh, Saturday Sunday or I mean Sunday Monday Tuesday anyway so uh, it's it's cool that I uh, and I think most places around here are going to observe um, Monday anyway because uh, New Year's fell on Sunday so okay. uh, I've been waiting for this for a customer finally showed up today. Um, I, I was talking to the customer this morning and uh, good thing it showed up. Ooh, packing material. Always could use the packing material. This is always good stuff. <laughs> Garmin collars. Let's see. Four thirty. Okay. So T five, T fifteen. Okay.
only customer right now. So the other thing we got, um, I don't even know what it is really. Big old, uh, I, well, I assume it's a rifle. Um, I am working. Okay. All right, let's get this thing open. All right, don't you laugh at me. Oh, this is going to be embarrassing. I, I do not know how to play darts or throw darts at all. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know if I want to post this. Oh. Uh. <laughs> All right. A little bit better. Oh, that bounced off. <laughs> I think I've done embarrass myself enough here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, live it up, laugh, laugh, laugh. <laughs> Old bad Jack JW can't play darts. <laughs> um, I think it's fun, but I'm not good at it at all. <laughs> um, I bought the I bought that dartboard um, back when I was working at uh, this department store. It it actually uh, came in as a uh, return and. I don't know, even know they don't even sell them there or sell those type of dartboards there. I think they just have the regular one with the uh, the plastic one with all the holes, and you just throw uh, this that one in there is actually the uh, whatever the bristle or something, and uh, you, you throw the real pointed darts at it. I was never really good at it. Uh, I don't even really know. I think I played a few times with some uh, some of the uh, some friends. I think. Uh, um, the girls always beat me, <laughs> uh, but I've always mostly just tried to get in the in the bullseye. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, uh, that was today. Kind of busy at work, kind of crazy at work. Um, uh, you know, just uh, having to answer uh, a lot of problematic questions today. That was uh, that really wasn't the company's doing. Uh, the company can't do anything about it when the places that we order from items just don't show up it is what it is you know people just don't seem to get that <laughs> but um yeah gonna get on out of here and uh guess we'll figure it talk about a movie uh the movie in question we we're talking about is jaws uh, i believe it was that 1975 or something um when jaws came out directed by steven spielberg uh, Roy Scheider. It's a great Roy Scheider movie. It's actually what everybody kind of thinks of when they think of Roy Scheider. They think of Jaws, uh, Chief Brody. Um, also has Richard Dreyfuss and Robert Shaw. Uh, for some guy that's afraid of sharks, uh, it's not exactly the greatest movie to watch. Uh, I'm scared to death of the movie, but the funny story is I'm almost certain everybody's seen it. Um, so I'm not going to get into that but the funny story about Jaws is 
think I was like four years old or something. My grandma bought it, uh, this VHS days. She bought it at Costco and on VHS. And I tell you, uh, I don't think I've ever watched a movie more times than I watched Jaws with my grandma. That is probably what contributed to me having a fear of sharks. And yeah, for somebody that, that was, and I've watched it countless times. Uh, countless times I can't even think of how many times I remember when I bought the double tape double pack uh, anniversary edition on VHS when that thing came out I remember I bought it and I watched it and it, but see now aside from the, it being a scary shark movie it's actually a really good movie <laughs> that, well there you go that's how good it is but the fact that these guys go on a boat I've always liked the orca the boat that they have um, just the fact that they go on a boat and they're trying to hunt down this shark and everything so yeah I actually enjoy the movie it's it's fun to watch it scares me but uh, there again just don't go in the water that's easy <laughs> so uh, see you tomorrow and that's gonna be it